Hi, Kez Wise here. On today's video, I will talk about how to create long-term profitable blog. Long-term profitable blog means it can make money constantly for a few years. If you are a blogger, you might be wondering what sort of article I should write next to get many viewers. So today, I want to share my blogging tips of how to create a long life profitable article. Before getting to the main topic, I have one question. Do you know how many blogs existing on the internet now? It would be very massive number. More than 100 million, even over a billion articles existing. So when it comes to writing a blog, it's very important to think about how to show your blog on the top. Otherwise, no one can find your article even though you write a brilliant one. We'll use some techniques to show your blog on the top on the search engine. It's generally called search engine optimization in short way, SEO. There are many ways of doing SEO, but on today's video, I will only focus on keyword selection. So what is keyword selection? It means the keyword when searching something on the internet. For instance, my article name is three tips of how to create a passive income schemes in the fastest way. In this case, I'm targeting users who will input tips, passive income, fastest in the search engine. So it means I have three keywords. This keyword select decides whether your blog can be shown on the top on the search engine or not. So this is very, very important step. So next, what kind of tools we have to use for keyword selection? In my case, I'm using Google Trend, Google Search, Keyword Planner. I'll explain how to use these services and how to analyze keywords. Okay, so now I'll show you how to use a Google Trend. And now you can see some keywords here. It means a trend keyword in USA. But don't worry, we can change the location later. So now, for example, I want to write a blog. It's about passive income. Then you just type the keyword. And then you can see the graph. It shows how much popularity does a keyword have within one year. So now you can see it's a good keyword because sometimes it's going down, but it's going up and it's repeating this trend. I this think. means the people constantly search this keyword on the internet. And now here you can change the location you want to see. And then I change to worldwide. And if you want to know whether the keyword is a long trend or not, we just change this one to past five years. And now you can see this is the trend of the keyword for the past five years. I can say this is a good keyword because it has a long, long trend. Also still now is going up this keyword will be searched in the future too. So if you write a blog about this keyword, then maybe for the next five years, you can make money by this blog. So on the other hand, I say Among Us. So now you can see, I think this is a release day. People search many, many times for this keyword, but after that, the trend is going down. It means even though you write a blog about this article, maybe in the future, people we not see this article anymore. So next I explain how to use Google search for keyword selection. So let's say I want to write a blog about passive income. So just write passive income. First you have to check the total number of articles existing on Google. This is a massive number. This keyword has high demand. So many people want to search something by this keyword. So I think it's okay. So next. What you have to check is the published date of the top article. This is the top article for this keyword now and it's published February of this year. The keywords on the first page, everything has this year. This means this keyword is highly competitive because many people try to write a blog about this keyword. It's very difficult to show your blog on the first page. Generally speaking, if you cannot show your blog on the first page, your blog cannot be read anymore. So you have to think about the SEO, search engine optimization. Otherwise, even though you write a good article, no one read it. Another trick is you will add another keyword for here. So for example, passive income in Vietnam. Still, this is a massive number. You can see the top article has a published date four years before. So this means many people search this keyword, but not many writers writing blog about the passive income in Vietnam. I can say this is a good keyword for writing blog. Before using keyword planner, we first use C author keyword. This is really, really powerful tool to know the related keywords for your keyword. So for example, if I want to write a blog about passive income, then I just type passive income. And now you can see a lot of related keywords for your keyword. Not only the keyword, you can see some related keywords like passive income ideas or definition in Japan. What should I do next? Then 
you have a button here. You just click this button to copy all of the related keywords. Then moving to Google Ads. So here, by using this tool, you can know the monthly search volume and keyword competitiveness. So now, first you click the right box and then you just copy and paste the keywords and initiate. Oops, seems like these two keywords contain some invalid values. So I just remove, reinitiate. Now you can see the tables and what you have to check is these three columns. First one is the related keywords and second one it means the monthly average search volume. So it means how many times the people search by this keyword monthly. So if the number of this value is bigger, many people searching something by this keyword. And the second one, this means the search competitiveness. If this value is low, not many bloggers not writing the article about this keywords. You still have the chance to show your blog on top on the search engine. So in a nutshell, you should use the keyword. The monthly search volume is bigger and also the competitiveness is low. You have more chances to show your blog on top. So, I already showed everything about the keyword selection. If you know any good tips, please feel free to leave a comment on this video. Also, I'm creating video about my passive income schemes. So, if you want to know more tips of mine, please put the thumb button and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Goodbye.